Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Those millennia. Is this what your Relo 6 has become? Uh huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stopover time extended indefinitely. locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be... The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Don't worry, it's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a stellar run. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. That we've got to get busy! I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Hey, that's not the spirit! <sighs> so it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. 
He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I expected, before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her, and even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Eurelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? Really? I find that hard to believe. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there Nah. Spending all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> mm. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right. Here comes the Urelo Six Trailblaze team. Eurelo 6. <sighs> it really is one big snowball. Well, the Trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which... Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Me neither. If only we had a snowmobile! We never get to bring anything cool from the express. Do you remember what you did to our last snowmobile? <laughs> anyway, moving on! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on! You've got a Stellaron in your body, I have my special six-phased ice powers, and Don Hung... Uh... He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they'll regret it. So, how long does Coffee Catitis last? Let's go! Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing! This place still hasn't been corroded. Fragmentum monsters have already made it here. 
I fear the Stellaron may be exerting a significant influence on this world. Clemency? Never heard of it. My turn! Reach the end of the story in your own way. to repent. an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? <laughs> hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. <laughs> Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely it doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jeppard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? 
Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not! Sam Bokoski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together! <laughs> Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity! Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from a silver main guard. Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The City of Preservation. The Tower Citadel. Humanity's last bastion against the Eternal Freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Me? Looking for relics to sell. Stomping over! I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit! Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift. And you'll be in a cell before you know it. No? The Silvermane Guards are Bella. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost... Be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kuski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Eh, I was just storing a few relics from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, <laughs> there'd be no need for secrecy. So, where about you guys? I don't mean to pry or anything, I just care about my friends. Number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called in helps me throw off pursuers in no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them.
now or never. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where do you think you're? Told you I could fight. Told you I could fight. Hope you're prepared. A wheel forged in ice never falters. I have no interest in cut. Jepard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, orders you to relinquish your futile resistance. Revealed in an instant. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till we get my hands on him. Relinquish your resistance. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Give you a present! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! You will know justice. Stay focused. Just a scrap. And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects, not take them away. Silence! What kind of- As you were, we must not be turned into careless judgment. Look at their attire. Indeed, it is not in the Bellabog style. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6! You mean to say that this 
white ball that's here? <laughs> that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird stuff. Remarked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Telling us all this. He wanted to. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> we saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded place. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the Architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. It was the correct one. The architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direct- This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from- Harm. The current Guardian is Ma- Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Rest easy. The Madam Guardian doesn't care about formalities. 
Not to mention, you've only just arrived. It would be unexpected if you were familiar with Bellabog customs. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Adam Cocolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. Ugh. Yes, Mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jupard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds and we discovered the endless possibilities of the Boundless Universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Uh, do you think anyone's gonna know what you're talking about? We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. FYI, we're pretty awesome. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, 
Then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. <sighs> it's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this. <sighs> it should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. You know, I didn't think things were gonna go that smoothly. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh, wait! Can you recommend some sights? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. If you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guards stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. That's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. We must leave now. I hope all goes well for you.